am the producer of Before You Buy, my name is Shannon Morse, and today I have all the things that you would ever need to survive the zombie apocalypse and still be able to charge your cell phone. Because we all know that when the zombies come out into the world and the wilderness, we are definitely going to have cell phone service. So first off, I have the Tilt Energy Backpack. This thing is built for all of your tech, whether it's laptops, tablets, cell phones, and even your, like your sunglasses and everything. It has a different pocket for all your stuff, plus it has a battery built in. The battery is huge. I took this thing to CES and it lasted the entire three days that I was there. I was able to charge my cell phone four times at least, so it's a really big battery. It's 10,400 mAh, gigantic thing. It is kind of heavy, that's something to keep in mind, and there's not a lot of space in here for like clothes and random weird shaped things like that, but it's great for all of your tech. Great for conventions, really nice if you want to go hiking or something like that. There's even an NFC tag built into one of the straps. So cool, super comfy, $199. I would give this one a buy. Next off, we have the 180S Bluetooth ear warmers. Yeah, these look really funny, but they are actually very warm. They're very comfortable and they're really nice. It is adjustable, although it is a little bit too big for my head. It kind of fell down the back of my head, but it does sound really great. Really nice call quality. It's very clear and really nice bass whenever you're listening to like Lord Royales or whatever you have. And it lasts about eight hours on a full charge. There is a little built-in charging cable, so you can plug that in and charge it whenever it gets down low on the battery. And there's a little LED light to let you know whenever it's getting down low. It costs $80 total, and I would give these a try. And next we have the Bracketron Smart Lantern. This guy is a LED light, which lasts about 48 hours, and it's also a USB charger for all your products. It has a 7800 mAh battery built in, and it'll last you about two charges uh, once you get this full up on its battery. Now, bad thing about charging this is the micro USB port on this is kind of loose. So every time I had to plug it in and charge it, I had to hold it there to make sure that it would get a full charge. It does let you know with four LEDs on the back how far the charge has gone. It costs a whole total of $79.95. And I did notice, even though on the packaging it says fireproof, it's not really that fireproof. We did kind of light it on fire. So this is a don't buy. And then we have three very pretty battery packs. First off, we have the Digital Treasures Charge It battery pack. Has four ports on the inside of it and a 3600 mAh battery, which will charge everything one to two charges maximum. It has really obvious charge LEDs so you can tell how, mi how much a per percentage you have left. It's a very small size which is really nice. It does take a long time to charge though and eventually some of these charging cables are going to become obsolete so I would much rather just have one USB port or two USB ports and be good with it. At a cost of 50 bucks I gotta give this one a don't buy. And then we have the Power Rocks Power Bank Super Magic Stick. I don't know, it looks like a wand, I guess. It's small, it's colorful, there's a bunch of different colors that you can choose. And the LEDs on this will give you your charge status. Blue means that it's fully charged, green means that it's half charged, I think that's backwards, and then red means that it's almost empty. It has one USB out on the end, and then it has a micro USB micro USB charger to go in for it whenever you need to charge it. It works. It's a very small capacity though at only 2800 mAh. Uh, this one I would also say don't buy. It's also 50 bucks so you get two small ones both $50. And the last one I have is the RAV Power Dynamo on the go power bank. That's a really long name, RAV Power. This one is a 7800 mAh battery. It's really nice and big. It uh, lasts about two charges. You can actually get this online for 20 bucks now. Yeah, they have upgraded to an 8400 mAh and also a 10,400 mAh battery as well. So both of those are huge. You might want to consider one of those too, but it has two USB outs. It's very small, very simple, and it comes with a little bag to carry it in. Yay, it's a buy. And the last one that we have over here is the Guide 10 Solar Recharging Kit. Guide 10 Plus Solar Recharging Kit. This comes with two pieces. First off, the Nomad 7 solar panel, and then it also comes with the Guide 10 Plus Recharger, which is four AA batteries and a recharging kit. It can charge 1.5 smartphone charges via the double A's that it comes with, and the panel can also charge your cell phone devices as well, as long as you have full sunlight capacity in your area. 
really, really cool for hiking. If you want to tie this thing onto the back of your backpack and just charge your cell phone all day, totally works like a charm as long as you have full sunlight. Of course, if you get a little bit of cloudy or if you're under a whole bunch of trees, might not work as well, obviously. Now the double A's do charge from either the panel in about three hours or six hours from the USB ports. And it does not charge any tablets, which is pretty unfortunate. It doesn't have the power capacity to charge any big tablets like an iPad or a Nexus 10 or what have you. So I really like this. I think it's very cool. It's built, it's high quality, it's useful. And I love that I have something that I don't have to plug in to recharge every time I need to use it. it you just stick it in the sun. So as, as long as the zombies haven't taken over the sun, I think we're good. Uh, this costs $129.98 online. I would give it a buy. I'm totally gonna buy one of these guys. I love it. So these are the products that you would need to survive your own zombie apocalypse. Good luck out there. I would suggest also getting a samurai sword or something similar to that, just in case one of those zombies gets nearby you. But for the most part, hide in the trees and you should be good and keep charging your cell phone and listen to your music. I'm Shannon Morris again, and this is my zombie apocalypse bag. I'm gonna go fight some zombies.